Well, well, my friends, this is yours truly, your homeboy LM here for you all. This is my very first video on this channel, and uh, I had two channels before, but uh, we don't need to talk about that. When I get 5,000 subscribers, we can talk about that. And yes, everybody, tell all your friends, your family, uh, your neighbors, whatever that LM will tell about his two earlier channels if he get 5,000 subscribers yeah but uh, I guess you don't get 5,000 subscribers overnight so whatever this is my very first video on this channel this is gonna be LM's top 10 favorite anime lists and I am LM TV Boss King Gold X aka LM aka your homeboy Elam here, y'all, aka the boss, aka the king, aka king of anime, aka I'm tired of saying this now, aka I have a lot of more aka's, but I don't want to say them because this video will probably be very long anyway. But if I say if I say any more now, the video will be too long. So whatever. So yeah. This is for short animes, which means over less than 100 episodes. And the character you see in the picture now, he's from Hunter x Hunter 2011, and uh, that anime will not be on this list because it will soon go over 100 episodes, maybe early next year, 2013. I'm sorry. <coughs> and uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. It's too sh it has a very few episodes right now, so I can't really judge if this one does if that one deserves to get on the top ten. And it w and that series will also probably go over hundred episodes, but whatever. So now I should start with the actual list. Number ten, Code Geass. This series is completely awesome. It's kind of similar to Death Note, but better. But it's kind of not similar to it either. And uh, I like to call the main character Lelouch, the one you see with the English sword there, as Light 2.2 or 2 or what is it called? 2.2 or whatever it's called. Um, the the series has a great revenge story. I think the I think it's kind of stupid the way they did the Britannians or Britannians or whatever it's called, or the villains of the series. Because it's e it's easy to see that they're based off the people from Britain, from England, Scotland, and uh, Wales and Ireland and all that shit. <coughs> but um, I think the series is great. The story has, is great. I highly recommend the series, and I will do a review of it sooner sooner or later. So yeah, that's Code Geass. Check that shit out. Number 9, Hajime no Ippo. <coughs> this series is about boxing. And I highly recommend this series if you don't like boxing also. I think it's a very great series. Yeah. I think I think it has uh, a lot of great moments that do not kind of like similar to one that will be in the top 3. Kind of has that thing that don't give up stuff. And the fights are awesome. I really like like the characters. God damn, I can't speak English. Wow. Number eight, Afro Samurai. I think this series may uh, this series doesn't have the greatest story, but the characters are pretty awesome for a series with only five episodes. The animation is one of the best I've ever seen. In the top three, definitely. And I think think it's kind of cool that is there's a. Guy from Africa or uh, America, I don't really know, with a giant afro who is a samurai. That's pretty awesome, in my opinion. And the fights are some of the greatest I've seen as well. Number 7 Helsing Ultimate. The original Helsing TV series was really crappy, had probably the worst filler arc I've ever seen in anime. But this one is completely awesome, also one of the greatest animated animes I've ever seen. The story is the characters are really fucking badass, especially the one you see on the cover on the picture here. Elicard, he's probably the most badass character I've ever seen, at least in the top three. 
It's about vampires, and it shows Twilight that it sucks ass. The Twilight sucks ass. I mean, seriously, why in the hell do you like Twilight? Twilight is completely retarded. But this series is really awesome. It's quite gory, and it is one of those series which I really like that does not give a fuck about anything. It just does what it wants to do. And more of those you will see in this series, in this list. Number six, Black Lagoon, and this and this count for all three of the Black Lagoon series. The original Black Lagoon, Black Lagoon, uh, the second break, and Black Lagoon OVAs. All three of them are awesome. First one was really awesome. The second one was awesome. The first arc of uh, the second series was the best arc in the entire series, in my opinion. But the two, but the two other arcs in uh, second break was the crappiest arcs, probably, except the first few episodes of the original. This series is known as the series with chicks with guns, or ladies with guns, or women with guns, or whatever. And Claymore are girls with swords. So yeah, but Black Lagoon is a hell lot awesome than Claymore, even though Claymore is really awesome as well. This series is really awesome with mafia gangs and a lot of gunfights that are really awesome. And, it ha and all the characters has a deep, deep ba backstory. They're not really like One Piece deep though, but you get to see, you see a little bit of it and you understand, you don't need to see anymore. And uh, there's really a lot of stuff infecting war in this series. A lot of people that is infected by war. Yeah, that's Black Lagoon, I highly recommend you check it out. Number 5, GTO, also known as Great Teacher Onisuka. Probably one of the funniest series animes I've ever seen. The second one is funniest. Number four is the funniest. This one is really fucking funny. I don't I don't want to talk about it, but it's about teacher teachers and stuff like that. And I'm not uh, actually finished with this series. Uh, I'm watching it now, or not at the current moment, but uh, I'm watching it. I'm uh, watching it today, and I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, and a lot of that stuff. It's really funny. It's really awesome. Uh, it's kind of old, but it still is really awesome series. Highly check recommend <laughs> recommend checking it out. GTO, Great Teacher Onisuka for the win, people. Come, on, come on, go and watch this shit right now. This shit is awesome. It is uh, the number five for a reason. Okay, bye bye for this one. I'm I'm uh, next one is number four. If you didn't know. But now I'm finished with GTO, now I'm going over to number 4. This shit is epic and funny, boy! Yeah, number 4. Desert Punk, the funniest anime I've ever seen. This series is really funny, but I wouldn't recommend taking this series uh, serious for a single moment, because this series has really, 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 really kind of kind of offensive humor sometimes but you but please don't take it seriously and the reason why is because this is in a world which everything is desert and there's problems with surviving a lot of gangs and stuff like that so you gotta take it to consideration that people in this world only think about themselves except a couple of them a couple of people in this world desert punk is really funny check that shit out number three Guren Lagan. This series is funny, but it's not all-time comedy. I know this is a mecha, means rob means there's a bunch of robots fighting each other. But this series is really, really, really an awesome series that I would recommend even if you don't like mecha, because this series just like Hajime no Ippo, but even more. It's really an inspirational anime that you shouldn't give up for anything you don't want to give up with. This series has, insp has inspired me a lot, and I think this series is very great. Don't give up on the first episode like I did. I watched the first episode I did like su over, a over a year ago now, and I watched uh, watched uh, the rest. And I started, uh, I picked up on the series again in this summer, and I really love the series. It is number three for a reason. Check that shit out. I said that already so many times now, but whatever. Number two, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, with the Full Metal Pip Squeak. Yeah, this series is about alchemy, which was something they used in uh, 
I believe them. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the time when they used it. Which uh, was summoning, kind of like summoning gold. It's kind of hard to explain, I don't really know how to explain it in English, because I do live in Norway, and I was born in Norway. My parents are from Norway, and in Norway they, they speak Norwegian and and uh, was Samish. And, uh, <coughs> but whatever. It's awesome, it's an awesome series, quite inspirational as well, even more than Gordon Lagan, but not in the same way. Kind of like, kind of inspire you to get going, kind of. It's very awesome, the fights are awesome, the animation is awesome, everything is awesome. Just like Helsing Ultimate, this is a reboot series. But this series is really, really great. Yeah, I I would uh, almost say that it's one of the, it's one of the greatest animes I've ever seen since it's number two. It's kind of hard to explain why it's so amazingly good, but uh, but it is, and it's the greatest shonen I've ever seen, definitely without any doubt. Which means number one is a seinen anime. So yeah, check that shit out. Now I'm gonna stop saying that. Stop because you because you probably get tired of me saying that. Number one is definitely with uh, any doubts, any regrets, the greatest anime I've ever seen, Monster. This series is so awesome that I can't even explain it. And this series I really can't say almost anything about because it will spoil it. It will spoil you. The main reason why this series is so great is the will the the, the sorry the villain of the series. I cannot say his name, but he is just awesome in every every way. And this series is a realistic series. So he doesn't have any superpowers, but he's so smart. He knows exactly when to do stuff. He knows exactly how, and he knows everything. He's just so smart and awesome. And it's just awesome to, to look at what he's going to do next. I would recommend this series so much to almost everybody except kids, because the series may, may be scary. Actually, when I saw episode 4, I actually got kind of scared. Shh, don't say it very anybody. But I'm putting this up on, inter on the internet e anyway, so whatever. And now starts the honorable mentions that almost made it to the top 10. Thanks for watching. I hope this shit gets a lot of views so I can get partnered. <laughs> no, whatever. This is your homeboy, Elm Hayal, who likes to, uh, to lie. <laughs> How? Oh my goodness, I suck so much at speaking English. It's so embarrassing, but whatever. This is your homeboy, Elm Hayal, who likes to stay at home and talk about anime, but sometimes he gets. he goes out of his, of his house to have some fun. Yeah! Boy, bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.